Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and today I'm going to be reacting to some trans memes for you guys, because why the hell not? Just something fun to do, I guess. So yeah, uh, as you guys know, like Instagram has a bunch of meme pages out there, so I'm just going to honestly go in the search bar and just type in trans memes and just click on one of those pages, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so the first page that we're going to react to is... Their handle is FTM is human. True. So I'm assuming that most of these are going to be uh, female to male transitioning uh, memes. All the Instagram pages that I react to with their memes are going to be linked down below. So just in case you want to follow these pages so you can uh, get some more trans memes for your own entertainment. Let's go. When your childhood friend sees you in present day. Fuck. I'm so... who Fuck. Like, literally, it's so strange, like, seeing people from my high school sometimes in public because it's like, because I don't know if they recognize me, and then it's just weird because it's like, I'm not one to go up to people either, like, obviously, if, like, we are friends, sure. But, like, I feel like it's just so weird because sometimes they stare at me and they, maybe, the, I think they just think, like, I'm, like, a relative of my dead self, I guess. I don't know. It's so, I hate it so much. I'm glad that no one has ever, like, came up to me or anything like that. Of course, I get fucking weird ass Facebook messages of like, why'd you switch? First off, no, like, <laughs> six year old me getting a girl's toy with my Happy Meal. Literally, I've always wanted the fucking boy toys. Literally, I was always like, one Hot Wheel cars and everything. Yes. Trans boy wears makeup, trans foes. Only girls can wear makeup. Not to worry, I have a permit. <laughs> I can do what I want. <laughs> Literally, I fucking love Parks and Recreation. Fuck! I won't allow you to start tea because it is permanent and you will regret it. Me. That sign won't stop me because I can't read. Fuck. No one's ever told me that though, which is great. Like, I have a lot of support, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go to another one. This one is called Band Trans. Band Trans? What? I was fucking trans before Instagram banned me. I think so. Okay, that's why you banned trans. Okay, at first I thought this was gonna be something about like banning trans people. I was like, this, no, that's not. Unless, you know, we want reacting to anti trans memes. <laughs> like, after all, why not? Why shouldn't I keep it? Fucking, this was me. Why? Do I feel so attacked right now. Like, fuck. Ever since, like, I started testosterone, I literally just threw them out though. Like, I don't know why, but, like, I just saved all my little freaking testosterone like bottles. I don't, I don't know why. I guess because they meant so much because I, I've been always looking forward to have like taking testosterone. And like the fact that I was finally on it, I was saving up all these freaking bottles of testosterone. So I threw all of them away because one day, because I was like, this is getting a little ridiculous. Like I had so many and I was just like, you're gonna be taking this for the majority of the rest of your life. So it's like, you don't need to save this. Like you're gonna keep on getting it. And it's just, but it's like this weird thing. It's like, You've been waiting for it for so long that of course, of course you're gonna like save some. In fact, I still have my first bottle that I've ever gotten of testosterone because it's like, it was my first shot of testosterone. It was the first time a nurse teaching me to do a shot of testosterone. And then the first time doing a shot at home with Sam. And then the last dose within that was like, first time me actually just doing it 100% myself at home. So it's like that bottle meant a lot because it was like within the four shots within that, it was like a bunch of firsts and everything. It's just like, it meant a lot. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because it's like, it's so tiny that you can't really display it anywhere or you're gonna like lose it. And it's just like, I don't know what to do with it, but like, it's hard for me to throw that one away for some stupid reason. Out is anyone crafty out there? Like, what should I do with that? I don't know. Comment down below. <laughs> me, the risk of triggering their dysphoria by acknowledging them as a fellow trans, another trans person in public. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, yeah, I don't, understand why you would want to ever go up to someone though that is trans unless it's like pride go ahead like yeah and like you know like that pride and everything like that they're showing off their trans tape or their scars and stuff like sure you can only go up to them and like talk about shit but it's like in <sighs> it's just weird because like you can't really just pinpoint another trans individual unless they got tattoos showing their trans unless they like first started their transition and it's like, I'm never one to really try to find another trans individual. I, I don't know, like, even when, like, I'm talking to people, it's like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm never thinking, like, oh, they might be trans. And, like, I feel like 
that's weird if you just randomly bring it up in, in a conversation with someone. Because, like, what if they're not trans and they're, like, really cis and they're transphobic? And it's, like, I don't know. Like, I'm just not that type of person. But, yes, you would definitely trigger their dysphoria saying, like, you knew that they were trans. Even if you were trans yourself, it's still, like, no one wants to be known as trans or coined as trans or look trans. Because it's just... it's what we're like i don't know we're all just being ourselves in the end but yes like socially i think we all try to pass a little bit depending on like what you are but yeah i never understood that i don't know that first time when you try using the men's room i can do this i'm a dude i'm a hunky dude i'm a badass hunky dude <laughs> what the fuck sis friend you should just tell them to fuck off me i'm not really in the mood to be the victim of a hate crime tonight Literally, yeah, sometimes you can't just, like, sometimes you just gotta let things just go. That, that's all I can say about that one. <laughs> like, Straights, if you raise kids, they influence them to be gay. Me, total, totally untrue. Straights are the only ones that pressure your sexuality. Also me, if I ever had kids. Gay culture 101, get into it. Um, I'm never, really, I'm not gonna really teach my kids that much about, like, the LGBTQ plus community. Honestly, I, I'm just gonna, like, teach them the basics of, like, people can be whoever the fuck they are. And that's just it. Because it's just them being themselves. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't know, it's just weird. Like, I don't know. I'm still, like, on the flip side of, like, whether or not I'm really gonna tell my kids I'm trans. Or, like, when to tell them. Because, like, I feel like that's, like, a, such a weird topic. And, like, not a lot of people really talk about it. Then again... Most of the people that I know who are trans are not at that stage in their life anyways, so it's just, it's a battle that I have right now. But then again, I'm not going to have kids for like five to ten years, so. When someone asked me if I've seen the latest Marvel movie, uh, I really don't follow straight society. What? There's plenty of queer Marvel fans. What do you mean? What do you mean? Fuck yeah, I've seen the latest Marvel. Who the fuck hasn't? What is wrong with you? I want to start tea, but I'm not into having facial hair. Me. Literally, I hate that so much when people complain about little simple things about testosterone that's going to change and they're like, yeah, I don't want to go on it just because of that. It's like, okay, I feel like there's more of a deeper underlining meaning rather than just facial hair that you won't go on tea. Like, just say it. Just say it. you're a trans man or a non-binary individual that doesn't want to go on tea. That's fine. You don't have to. But the fact that like, it's something so stupid, that facial hair, literally there's cis men that don't even like facial hair. It's called shaving. And also you can get like that, that weird laser thingy magic. You know what I'm talking about, right? And they just like, I don't know what they do, but they zap it. Like you do a few treatments and then like it won't grow anymore or something like that. I think that's how it works. Science, right? Who knows? But it's like, I feel like if you say that, then there's like more of a deeper underlying like some conscious thing that you don't really want to say. And that's fine. Like, you don't have to go on testosterone to be a trans man or a trans uh, non-binary individual. Um, testosterone is just one of those things that a lot of people do because it helps with a lot of dysphoria, not just a few simple things. So, just saying the fact that, like, you don't want it just because of one little thing. There's always going to be, like, highs and lows of taking testosterone. You're not going to get 100% the results that you want. But, you know, you have to just take the risk if you really want it. When you finally decide to get the first experimental haircut, hope this doesn't awaken anything with me. <laughs> Why was that me when I first got a freaking haircut? I was 13, 14? When I cut my hair short, I think. Like, I didn't want to be trans at all. Actually, at that point, I didn't even know what trans was. I was just being myself. Yes, I was a little more masculine. Yes, I guess I was the coin term of tomboy and everything. But, like, yeah, I really wanted a short haircut. And, like, I just looked at photos of guys and was like, I want their haircut. Like, I wasn't attractive to these guys or anything. Like, yes, I'm bisexual, but I wasn't thinking in that nature. I just wanted their hair. That's all I wanted. And it's just like, yeah, but, of course, I got pixie cut out of the mess because like I wanted a short haircut but it's like I thought like my mom wouldn't let me get it unless I showed like a woman's haircut so of course I got a pixie cut which doesn't look the same as a male haircut but it's pretty damn close with certain face shapes and like how you style it so it was still really cool and awesome sometimes I'll start a transition I don't even know where it's going I just hope I find it along the way yeah
yeah, literally transitioning is just like your own little journey and like there's going to be different steps along the way and like things that you didn't really realize about yourself or that you wanted. Like a lot of people will start off with like, I don't know if I'm going to get surgery and then it's like you go on testosterone for a while or estrogen if you're a trans woman or in that non-binary non nature where that's going to be your hormone. And it's just like, then you find yourself like, yeah, I do actually need this surgery because to represent my true self and everything. It's just like, I don't know. It's interesting. Transitioning is like this weird, weird fucking thing sometimes. But it's also really awesome. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's weird because like, I never actually thought like I would be at this point, even though I'm only like, what? A little over 10 months on T. But it's like so weird because like, looking back at older pictures of myself pre-T, like even at the strike of pre-T, like my first shot of testosterone, like, I look so much different. Like, go back to my first YouTube video when, like, I was introducing myself to this channel and, like, what I was going to do with it. Like, I've changed so much and, like, I didn't even really notice it. Like, I've always just been myself and I see myself more now in the mirror, but it's weird because, like, I don't... It's hard to explain because, like, obviously when you look in the mirror, you know that's you, but it's, like, I don't know. It's just, like, so hard to explain because it's, like... It's... Does anyone know what I'm talking about or am I just like, like, just ranting nonsense right now? It's like, it's, transitioning is just so hard to explain to someone who's not transitioning themselves or like, don't plan to transition. Why, why is this, yes, yes, yeah, let, yeah. I don't understand why they're all potatoes, but yeah, that's, yeah, me. <laughs> my estrogen watching me procrastinate my tea shot yet another day. Fucking true what the fuck that bitch always sneaks up on you like you think you'll be fine no -uh. no <laughs> okay on that note i do actually gotta take my uh my testosterone shot today so that was a good reminder for me to end this video and everything and get a move on, on that uh i hope you guys found this um interesting and like some relatable memes in there uh definitely follow those two pages i will link them down below their handles and everything also, don't forget to follow my Instagram to see what I'm doing in between uploads at alternate underscore journey. So yeah, anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. I make videos whenever I can, but you can always expect important updates on my transition. Alright, see you guys.